Multi-vendor networks have become the norm across the telecommunications industry, yet integrating diverse technologies remains a persistent challenge. Uwe Peches, Global Pursuit Lead at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, joins us to discuss how HPE is addressing these complex integration challenges. Uwe, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having so, me. So, Uwe, what are some of the key integration challenges operators are seeing today? Yeah, if uh, you look around what you see at Global World Congress this year and last year is that there's a major trend towards implementing autonomous networks and bringing that together with AI. And the challenge most operators have is to define how they want to structure the journey because getting towards autonomous networks is a journey. It's nothing which you can do in a very short cycle. You have to plan for that and you have to well define the starting point and you have to see what is the best area and what will bring you the initial benefit if you want to get on that journey. And starting from that, uh, thinking about how do you handle your data because that's, that's a key point. You have to manage your data well if you want to go on a journey towards autonomous networks. How is HPE addressing some of those challenges? Yeah, we're helping on two levels. On one level, we are trying to help them to define the journey you see here. We have defined uh, different levels, and I think that's a common trend in the market, that we talk about different levels, uh, and we have to define which is the right level to achieve the right step of the journey. And we have a lot of innovation in our software portfolio, which we are presenting this year. One of the highlights being the innovation we have for AI and ML, which we introduced with Int AB5, which we recently launched. And that is helping to, uh, operators to get a better understanding and better exploit the information they have in their data today and making that available for the next step of automation. So what are the key benefits operators see from deploying HPE solution? Yeah, one of the key benefits we have, we have been packaging together ready-made uh, solutions for different domains which can be applied and rolled out, uh, give, taking away the challenge of having complex integrations. You know, in the past we have had complex integrations between things which we say on the assurance side, we have an assurance stack, we have an, we have an orchestration stack, but we have to bring these two worlds together. If we talk about automation, we have to find the common view on assurance and operation side. One of the innovations which we are introducing here is that we have a common understanding of the policies between both, between both sides of the OSS world. And we have packaged that into ready-made solutions, like for instance, we have packages for RAN, we have end-to-end -end packages for slicing. And these are the things which we are demonstrating this year here at Mobile World Congress. So what is a good starting point on the journey toward autonomous networks? Yeah, as we said, very often it's a good idea to start with the management of the data, the data management and getting a better interpretation of the data. You know, 5G is generating a lot more data than what we had in the past. So it's very difficult to deal with that, with the sheer amount of the data. And AI is the right thing to do right now because you cannot, it's not possible for humans to manage all that data. And that's uh, why we introduced a next generation of AI uh, management with Int AV5. We introduced a new performance management, which we call that um, analytics on metrics, where you take whatever data you get from the network and you try to understand, you have to separate a signal from noise in that data and then find the right information, fully qualified SQIs, which you can hand over then to an orchestration system, which can then act, take action upon that data. And that integration between these two things is the biggest benefit we believe we can deliver with this end-to-end -end integration we have with our value packs for, let's say for instance, for the run management or for slicing or for other networking domains. Can you show us the solution? So what we have here is our automation pack, end-to-end -end automation package for RAN. So what we do is we take a machine, we deploy the machine on a RAN site, there's nothing on that machine. We monitor, we discover that machine and we start deploying the cloud on that machine. Along with the deployment of the cloud of the machine, we also deploy all the measurements we need in order to understand what is happening on the infrastructure level on the machine. And uh, once that is ready, we can then go to the next level and install on top of that machine the payload for the RAN. In this case, it would typically be a virtual DU. We can put that on top. And also for that one, we would also deploy all the OSS assurance tools, which we need in order to have control of that machine. And if I go to the second screen, now we are looking at a video and we can see, we have been talking before about AI applications, which we have in order to optimize what you see on the, um, on the assurance side. That's what is behind these screens here. So you see all the relevant information 
about the infrastructure, about the applications which we have out in the field. It's already aggregated here and displayed in, and displayed in a proper manner. So if in case if you run into a problem, we can take action of that. The next level of that application would be that we have a complete, a complete management suite available to manage everything which is happening on the RAN side, including the radio configuration whatsoever. And we can also integrate that with uh, the end-to-end -end slice management, which is another one of our packages which we are doing here this year, where we can deploy an end-to-end -end slice crossing the different domains, the RAN part, the transport part, the core part, and also doing for, the, for, for those components an end-to-end -end closed loop management, which gives you a very good end-to-end -end understanding on what is happening in your network. So from the operator standpoint, if they are considering the HPE solution, what benefits should they expect? One of the benefits they should expect out of these end-to-end -end packages is really, the first one is pretty simple, it's shorter integration times, right? Because if you look at the history we had in setting up assurance projects, uh, orchestration projects, they're typically quite consulting or service intensive projects. We are taking away a large part of that integration effort by giving our customers something which is pre-integrated out of the box and where we have several vendors already pre-onboarded for that end-to-end -end solution. And that gives us an advantage over putting together dedicated pieces of, uh, of software and having complicated integration projects. Uwe, thank you so much for your insights and showing us the HPE solution. Thank you, Clarence, for having me.